Hello and welcome, this is Spadget Sims and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So um, we're going to be playing the Every Lot Challenge Challenge. I will explain a little bit more about what that is, uh, but first you're probably wondering who this is. This is Ermintrude Olgatronic. Now, um, she's someone that I played with before I started making videos. So I did the homelessness challenge with her and I will put a link to the rules for that down in the description. And basically in a nutshell, she started off with nothing on an empty lot. If you don't know that challenge and she had to, um, you know, make enough money and, and build up her, her life to a certain point. And um, yeah, she mainly did that by fishing. Now, she used to go down the beach and fish all the time uh, to make money. And Judith Ward, um, the global celebrity, approached her and befriended her, kept phoning her up, asking her out on dates. And Ermintrude, she was pretty busy just trying to survive, sleeping on benches, trying to go to the gym to um, just to get a shower and things like that, uh, scraping up enough money just to buy a bit of street food. And um, so Judith really pursued Ermintrude. And so once Ermintrude had, had kind of completed the homelessness challenge and got herself together, gave her a little makeover so she didn't look like a tramp anymore. And um, yeah, and figured that I didn't know what else I was going to do with her, but I liked her as a character. I thought Ermintrude was really cool. And she seems pretty resilient and, yeah, like down to earth. So I thought, yeah, I want to do something with her in future, but I don't know what. And Judith kept phoning her all the time, was clearly pretty into her. So I thought, well, why not just move in with Judith? She's a global superstar. She must have a decent house. So, um, yeah, we decided, I decided that Ermintrude should move in with Judith. And all I've done is um, move her in and then get... Uh, give Judith a makeover uh, because I thought she looked pretty kind of middle-aged and she didn't see uh, her appearance didn't seem to match what I knew of her personality so far so um, let me show you Judith okay so this is Judith and like I said she's dressing quite sort of middle-aged and um, I think she's a young adult she might be a normal adult in the game I'm not sure anyway she's a global superstar um, an actress, a celebrity, um, and yeah, she just really took a shine to Ermintrude. So I figured, yeah, she just looked kind of, I don't know, a lot older than her years were supposed to be. So I figured that I would uh, give her a makeover just to look more kind of young and fresh and like someone who might be interested in Ermintrude. So uh, let me show you what she looks like now. Okay, so this is the new improved Judith. Um, I think she looks more in keeping with how she seems as a person. I feel like, so I haven't changed her body or her features or anything like that at all. All I've done is given her different clothes and hair and makeup. Her makeup was really awful, really strong blusher all the time. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, and, and really bad eyeshadow and stuff, which really aged her, I think. So yeah, I've just given her this makeover and um, yeah, I don't really know much else about her other than I think she's mean, quite horrible, but she, she really seems to like Ermintrude. So we'll see how they are now that they're living in Judith's house together and we'll crack on with this challenge. Okay, so I've told you a little bit about uh, Judith and Ermintrude. Um, there's a bit of a bio, so I just wanted to show you this um, before going into the house and meeting them for the first time. So Judith Ward is a legend in the acting community. She has starred in everything from comedies to dramas. You name it, Judith has played the role. That's not to say she's an easy person to befriend. Judith has burned her fair share of bridges along the way. Her mentality is to get rich at all costs. She will be the first to throw you under the bus to advance her career. She has been married several times, but all of her partners have only slowed her down. She prefers to live fast and does not settle for mediocrity. I'm not sure why she pursued a homeless person, but that's what it is. Maybe she just finds her beautiful or something and can't resist her. Who knows? So we'll have a look at them and uh, let's go. Now, I don't remember, as far as I know, I moved Ermintrude into her house, gave uh, Judith a little makeover, 
And I can't remember doing anything after that, but it would appear that they are at the Narwhal Arms. So, okay. Um, we'll choose um, Intrude. Let's see what they're up to. Didn't expect that. Uh, okay. Let's just see. So, she looks like she's about to walk into the sea. Um, and she is fine. Um, okay. What's Judith up to? She's very sad. And she's over here. Uh, not great. Okay, so we had a notification there. So, uh, let's see what that is on about. Um, celebrity level lost. Judith spent too much time out of the public eye. She's now a four star celebrity. She's lost access to all tier five fame perks. But on the bright side, she's also lost two of her behavioural quirks. Now, I haven't actually spent any time playing with uh, Judith and stuff, and I haven't really done anything to do with the celebrity side of things either. I haven't really played Get Famous. So again, that's one, leave uh, a comment if you want me to do a Let's Play with a celebrity um, pack. But uh, yeah, so I don't really know what's going on. So sad bomb from emotion bomb quirk. So from what that says i'm guessing that each as you go up and get more and more famous you get certain personality quirks that i don't know maybe you turn into a diva so <laughs> emotions are welling up inside judith as she falls into a pit of despair give her a few minutes to process her emotions have a good cry and she'll be back to normal okay cool improper celebrity from losing fame after Tasting superstardom, the proper celebrity moniker just doesn't sit well with Judith. She still gets to keep her celebrity tile, tile right. Oh, like the star thingies that you get, uh, like the Walk of Fame or whatever it is. I'm so out of touch with everything. Right, okay. Anyway, we have spent way much uh, more time on this than I expected. So let's actually get into their house so we can start this challenge. Um, right, go, go, go. Uh, okay, is Herman Trude here as well? Oh, she's in the house. Okay, so let's sort out their house. So, lot type residential. So we want to change that to haunted house residential. There is something special about this place. While living in a haunted house adds an extra bit of risk, it's not without its rewards. Just a fair warning, things are gonna get weird. Good luck. Okay, cool. And <laughs> traits panel. Okay, so it's a celebrity home at the moment. So this residence is listed on the celebrity home tours, granting increased fame gain, restricted access, and awe amongst welcome visitors. Beware though, those who live here but aren't actually very famous will be considered posers. Um, that sounds like it's going to get in the way of what we're doing now. So let's pick some interesting uh, traits. So I think we should make it a cat hangout and a dog hangout. <laughs> and, oh, oh no, we don't want them to mend things. Uh, and a registered vampire lair. That sounds good also. So <laughs> what does that even mean? The lot registers as a vampire lair. The league will send various gifts from time to time, through the mail no less. Even the Immortals use a public mail service, only available to ho on home residences. Okay, uh, maybe that's not as scary as I thought. Oh, this is the one I was thinking of, Vampire Nexus. It's a good job I checked it, isn't it? Uh, so Vampire Nexus, what that actually does. So a dark void envelops this lot in the upside down. Vampires are more likely to visit the area. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? So the dog hangout is just stray dogs will hang out at this lot. The cat one just says stray cats really love this lot. Um, meow. <laughs> so I've seen what this does. Um, you kind of, you, you just get cats and dogs just rolling around everywhere and it's quite nice really, but it makes it look more chaotic and feel more chaotic. Um, but it actually, I, I quite like it. So this uh, thing was spinning around uh, to get me to click on it. So what to expect in a haunted house? So, ghostly assistants meet Guidry the ghost, uh, or Guidry, I don't know. He's quite the charmer. 
Spectres, so floating apparitions, roam the lot at night. They can range from friendly to hostile. That sounds exciting. Haunted treasure. Spectres have all sorts of strange valuables on them. Okay. Paranormal activity. Things get weird around here, especially at night. Your sims will definitely take notice. It sounds exciting. Um, a cursed object. Occasionally, strange artifacts find their way into your house. Keep your eyes peeled. It's alive. Try keeping the entities of the house on your good side. Be brave. Each successful night yields reward store points for all sims. Aspiring investigators, welcome. Become a paranormal investigator with the help of Ghidri. And she's coming for you. So that sounds like there's a scary lady ghost. Um, so the other thing, the main thing that we want to do is set all the lot challenges. So we can't have landfill lot because it's not available for residential um, or haunted houses or anything. It's only for like commercial lots. But everything else we can have, so we're going to switch on everything else. So creepy crawlies. It seems like some creepy pests have taken up residence here. Be prepared. When they hit, you'll never see them coming. Challenge number one. And cursed. Lots of things seem to go wrong here. Available with city living. <laughs> Filthy. From clogged sewers to grimy counters. This place seems to get dirty really quickly. Gremlins. Stuff breaks here a lot. It's like there are tiny goblins who come out at night and smash things. But that's ridiculous, right? <laughs> Grody. Sims have a chance to get nauseous when eating, drinking or using the bathroom. Off the grid. This lot is not connected to the utility grid and most objects that use power or water will not function as expected. Can your sim survive without the comforts of plumbing and electricity? Natural living does have its advantages, such as no utility bills. Quake zone. Occasionally there's a minor tremor here. Probably nothing to worry about. Reduce and recycle. So this lot generates compostable and recyclable trash. And outdoor cans are no longer bottomless. Actively managing the trash output is a must. That seems like a piece of cake compared to a lot of the other things that are happening. Simple living. This lot requires ingredients to cook all recipes. Cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better. Um, now, I have a slight feeling that if we've got no power, we can't order food deliveries. So we'll no longer be able to just cook from the fridge. We have to go and get all our ingredients first. So it's possible that we might have to take a trip out to the cottage living world just to go to the shop, just to buy some basic ingredients so we can eat. So that's something that might happen. Um, spooky. For some inexplicable, inexplicable reason, this lot attracts wandering ghosts. Volcanic activity. <laughs> this lot is near an active volcano. Beware of earthquakes, steam vents and occasional lava bombs. And finally, wild foxes. So wild foxes will appear on this lot, being a nuisance to your garden, chickens and rabbits. So that might not cause us that much. Uh, thing. It just might be chaotic with cats and dogs and foxes um, all running around. So we've got all of these challenges active. Um, so the reason I, <laughs> I've chosen these two in this house is because when I first started, like, well, when the, these uh, lot challenges, when this first came out in the patch recently for The Sims, I thought, how cool would it be to do, like, a challenge? Like, what happens if you have all of them switched on? Is it, like, impossible? Will you just die? Like, what's the situation? And then uh, a few days later, James Turner did the challenge and he made, like, a really small home and he's got solar panels and uh, and he's got various other bits and pieces he's got like a dew collector for water and things like that and yeah it's chaotic and he's having a bad time <laughs> um but yeah like that i suppose that's similar to what i would have done um and then dr gluon had a go and he's made a completely different thing he's made like a desert island version um and yeah his is really interesting and he's got load of evil chickens there and stuff like his is crazy as you can imagine with dr glue on again it's a small home so i don't know this house at all i haven't played with this house i also i know ermintrude well i don't know judith very well 
Um, so it's just some extra surprises and rather than a house that's designed to cope with this stuff I figured it'd be more fun to have a house where you know it's some stuck-up celebrity's mansion and um, yeah see how she copes with all these lot challenges um, because yeah I have a feeling from what we've read so far that Judith isn't very nice so <laughs> let's get cracking so okay so Ermintrude likes fishing and stuff as we know so okay this household is off the utility grid objects that require power or water will not work unless those objects are supported off the grid supplemental supplemental water utility may be collected around the world also check out the off the grid category and build by for helpful objects and activities some objects that can create water and power utility even while off the grid are the wind turbine water generator dew collector power generator and solar panel as long as a household produces more power or water than it uses objects that use utilities will continue to work thank you for those handy hints we'll see how we get along to start with let's go right so Judith's already really sad let's see what their needs are like oh so everything's fine apart from your social and um intrude how about you why is it showing you as not at home uh are you okay where are you going she's going to chat with you oh it's just being buggy <laughs> she's chatting with judith right okay and hers is okay apart from social so i don't know what we should do do we preemptively go to the shop and get some food or do we just let them live their little lives okay so i've been fast forwarding for a while and all they've done is um stand outside talking to each other they're not even in the house i think a lot of the problems in the house happen at night um and we're in the morning at the moment um like i intrudes having a a nice go on the violin there oh <laughs> she had oh there's no notification for it i'm sure one of her things was seismophobia which i'm guessing is uh, to do with earthquakes oh have you got it judith seismophobia from lot traits this area is known to have tremors now and then Bring, being here makes sims constantly tense okay so that's the first impact that we've had of the lot traits just that judith is scared that's a, oh she's a good actress isn't she and ermintrude still showing that she's not at home this does seem a little bit buggy but <laughs> this must be the cursed lot thing oh my goodness all she did was light the fire um should i intervene i mean ermitrude's doing a good job are you gonna put yourself out <laughs> okay well that's the <laughs> first exciting thing okay so her hygiene's pretty low now i'm guessing that the shower's not going to work. Judith is mean. Mean sims become happy when they say mean things to other sims. Okay. You're really not a very nice person at all, are you, Judith? No. You're going to go try and have a shower? So what happens? Oh, there's nothing in these bathrooms downstairs. She has to go to an upstairs bathroom. Do you not have a shower with all of your money? You don't have a shower, just a bath. Oh. Plumbing doesn't work off the grid. Okay, so she can't have a shower. I mean, I don't know what happens when they need the loo also. Um, Intrude's pretty happy. Um, the fireplace probably isn't very safe, but I mean, Judith did it. I'm not going to intervene. I'm just going to let them live their lives and <laughs> see, you know, what happens. I feel like there might be a lot of fast forwarding until like bad stuff really starts happening. Okay, so she's uncomfortable. Filthy, disgusted by poor hygiene. Oh, the stench. Cool, okay. 
and she's tense from fire extinguishing. You didn't even do any fire extinguishing yourself. I think you'll find Ermintrude did that. Who I think is your girlfriend, but you seem to be quite, um, like, off with her. I mean, you came onto her strong, but you don't seem so happy now she's moved in. Okay. Oh! Um... <laughs> Ermintrude um, is dazed by being vo from being voodooed. Oh, hang on a minute. Is that a fox running through the house? So it's all starting now. It's just starting. Scraps. Hello, Scraps. What are oh, maybe Scraps is just a dog. Scraps, are you a dog? I don't know. He's an adult. Scraps. Hi. Yeah, I think he's a dog. <laughs> it's pretty poor when I can't tell the difference between a dog and a fox. He might be a fox. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. I'll look at her doing her um, stuck-up walk. Oh, ah, <laughs> no, I'm in Drood going like, oh, you're stinky. Yeah, so anyway, she's dazed. Um, and she's confident from being a firefighter. Yeah, dazed as though she's hit her head. And that's from being voodooed. Yeah, so I think having a cursed lot just makes generally bad things happen. But overall, I think, look, Ermintrude's doing well off of this. Um, and Judith really isn't. Okay, well, we'll fast forward for a bit more. Where are you going, Ermintrude? Oh, you're getting a book? I'm sitting outside in the sun on the expensive comfy sofas. Seems sensible. And then we have that fox. <laughs> fox or dog running around the house. I don't like fast forwarding it when I can't see both of them, just in case anything else happens. I don't want to miss any drama there we go we can see both of them at the moment okay so Julia just used the loo and seemed to be able to use it oh she can't flush it so she can basically go to the loo in there but um not flush it and she's got cautious introduction with this cat I don't but she's just standing there. Nermindrude's just standing there reading. Oh, and she's stopped now. Where is the cat? I don't know. You're really stinky, Judith. Ruhan of Ubisi. Vinegar Tablo. Huh? Him and I. Swarspa. Kitsune. Uh -huh. Oh, Rinka, Bessig, Musma, Florib, Shalizam, Flinsk. Bad violin again. Good for you, Ermintrude. <laughs> in a cruel twist of fate, you've ended up in a haunted house. Possibly by the hands of some malevolent mastermind controlling your every action. <laughs> that would be me then. Maybe make the most of it. Surely there's a good reason to be here. I can handle this. Yeah, I know you can, Ermintrude. Who's this? Who... Who's, who are they having a conversation with? Is that a ghost or something? Ermintrude just became acquaintances with Mango. Ah, oh, Ermintrude's rational. Um, hi. Oh, it's Mango in his little outfit. Judith became acquaintances with Pumpkin. 
nice okay so we've we're starting to get dogs and cats running around the house so that's good how's everything else going we've just got hunger hunger and hygiene everything is going pretty well so far Like Ermintrude. Oh! This guy, who is he? Rua Kalawaya. Oh, is he a fan that's just turned up? Ermintrude just became acquainted with Chester. Chester looks really nice. I'm just going to go see Chester. Oh wow, Chester looks weird now when you see him. Wow, he's got very long ear rolls. <laughs> okay. Judith is flirty. I don't know why that kind of scares me. I mean, they don't have much else to do. I was reading, playing the violin and playing chess. So I thought most of the scary stuff was supposed to happen at night. I mean, so far they've been burnt and voodooed, but not much else. This guy, what's he doing? Uh, why are you in our house? Oh, where's Judith gone? She's gone to bed? She's going to Oh, who's this? Hey, green person. Attempt communication, offer soul, and watch Spectre. Okay, well he's green. Maybe... Maybe he's nice. What happens? Attempt communication. Come on, Ermintrude. Oh, look, he does look really nice and happy. Maybe they're not so bad. This challenge seems well easy so far. <laughs> Maybe it is easy when you do it in a big mansion. Maybe when you've got a load of cats, cats and dogs and bad things happening and a fire in a small place, it affects more of the house. didn't go so well she's terrified what was that from hearing a creepy voice oh okay and goosebumps from getting spooked spooked out from lot traits okay this isn't great and she'll have a rude instruction with a dog oh and you're also scared okay well i think this guy i think he's all right i don't think it's him that scared her off a soul Hmm, it seems dangerous and I have no idea what that does. Okay, let's carry on. Does he show up in her friends list? No. <laughs> She's getting quite hungry, but we can't go to the shop when it's not open. Oh, hi, Colton. Um, Ermintrude, do you need to go to sleep? You're going to go and talk to that dog, but I think you should uh, go to bed. You don't have to sleep with Judith, it's okay. Just in case. Judith just became acquaintances with Shashka. Um, and Drew became acquaintances with Annie. Well, there we go. We've got a lot of dogs. I didn't actually tell her to sleep, did I? Just 
assigned her a side of the bed. What's Judith up to? Oh, she's going back to bed. Oh, she's going to bed here. No? Oh, she's changed beds. There's a celebrity here, paparazzi. <laughs> but I turned the celebrity home off. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure you're supposed to have cats and dogs and be haunted and everything and be a celebrity home. Like, it seems a bit harsh. Right, okay. Let's see when they are ready to wake up. It's taken ages. <laughs> That'll wake them up. Judith seems to have some unexpected visitors. Spiders with no logical way to avoid their bite coming to mind and no Dr. Parker's spider repellent within reach. She may just have to deal with some creeping, some crawling and maybe even a little biting. Um... I'd be more worried about the earthquake. But I'm taking you're up now. Um, Ermintrude, did you just sleep through an earthquake? So I think you guys should probably go to the shop because I think that you probably can't make any food. So. Oh, you can't make any food anyway. What's happening? She's got green circles on her. Okay, I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. Um, but, that, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, okay, so I think I might actually have to get some off the grid um, appliances because I think they can't actually get any food at all and they are going to need food and I don't want them to have to like go and eat out all the time. Um, so yeah, they should probably get some, like an off the grid fridge and cooker and a shower maybe. I don't know if they can just be stinky all the time. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm going to leave this one here for now. Um, I'm sorry nothing too exciting's happened. I mean, it's starting. You can see this, the beginnings of something pretty chaotic. And um, yeah, let me know how you feel about this one. And um, we will continue it in the in the next episode. If, but as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Bye bye.